Hey, what is up guys? Trex here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4. And obviously, hello Piper, we are back in the, uh, I, I just forgot what it's called. Contraptions DLC! Contraptions DLC! Nailed it! Piper Stop Long Circles. And I promise you guys some fireworks, so here we go. This is a complete fireworks overview in as little time as possible. So basically, what you need to know is there's eight types of fireworks. And then there's the weather fireworks, and there's a flare. Now, the flare is the same as the flare that you get for the flare gun to summon the Minutemen, nothing too special. But the eight different types of fireworks are different colors, and the three other than the three weather fireworks change the actual weather, and it's crazy. So this very, very pretty night sky can be turned into a rad storm or a rainstorm. It's, it's crazy, but basically, the first few things that you're going to need, you're going to need a fireworks mortar. Mortar, not mortar. That's uh, something completely different, something uh, related to Middle Earth. Anyways, but what you need for a fireworks mortar is you need wood, steel, and asbestos, and that's it. That's all you need, and you can make either an angled mortar, which I have here, or just a straight mortar, um, and they're, they're pretty cool. And then what you're going to need for the actual fireworks themselves is a chemistry station. Now if you have local leader you can make these yourself or you can just go to a settlement and uh, use one there which is probably your best option honestly. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the chemistry station and go up to craft and what you're gonna need for your fireworks is you're gonna need adhesive, cloth, and fertilizer for the colored fireworks. Now you have all these colors. You have crackle, palm gold, palm silver, palm, uh, peony blue, Peony green, peony pink, peony red, peony yellow, and that's all. And I'll show you how each of these look individually, and I'll also show you what they look like as a whole. Okay, this is what all the colored fireworks look like as a whole from this angle. If we flick the switch and then we wait a second, we will see them all shoot out. Very pretty. Very cool. Let's see that from another angle. Alright, nice high angle. Let's get the fireworks going. And here they come. Alright. Awesome. And obviously, some of them explode before others. But still, it does create quite a show. Now, this is how each of the firework colors look individually. So basically, each explosion is the same color, but then the crackle or whatever afterwards is the blue, green, etc. color that it was. Now, the next type of firework that you can craft is the weather affecting firework, and these are the coolest. So all you need, besides the asbestos or adhesive cloth and fertilizer, is you need gold, uh, nuclear material, and silver for each different firework. So if we go back to the station, same sort of thing. We go down here, we got clear. Uh, so this clears up the weather. And for this one, you need gold. You got the rad storm, which creates an actual rad storm. And then you've got the rain firework, which actually makes rain. By the way, when you're making fireworks, you'll get a ton of experience. It is a very quick way to level up. So once you've made these and you place down your mortar, which is uh, found in, what was it? the miscellaneous category of electronics. I forgot to mention that earlier. You can launch the fireworks and we'll do that just now and check out what they're like. And so this is the Radstorm firework and if we launch it we'll see that when it fires it creates a vortex and then an actual Radstorm over the entire wasteland. And this isn't just like Aesthetic rad storm. This is a full blown thing. There's lightning strikes and you'll get radiation and everything. But uh, I, I'm I don't like creating rad storms. See, so I'm going to uh, transfer up the rain uh, firework and we'll see how this does. 
if it fires, this one has a clear light, I believe, vortex, and we get a dark sky and a rainstorm. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And finally, if we transfer over the clear weather fire shell, as it's called, this will fire, this will clear everything up for us. And this is especially handled, uh, helpful because if there's a rad storm going on at your base and you don't want it, you can just pop in a uh, clear, f clear weather firework and it'll all be gone. But basically, that's the rundown for fireworks. In summary, you're going to need some electricity, some mortars, some asbestos cloth and uh, adhesive cloth and fertilizer to make the fireworks, uh, some gold, nuclear material, and silver to make the weather changing fireworks and a chem station and then you can do whatever you want and it's pretty cool fireworks they're pretty nice even the wasteland deserves a little celebration on the 4th of July anyways guys I hope you guys are enjoying these videos on contraptions workshop uh, for more fallout in the future be sure to click subscribe and I plan on doing some far, uh, far harbor sometime soon and also if you've noticed my pit boy it's not the default one what I plan to do is have a Pip-Boy mod showcase coming up uh, maybe next week if I can make the video because I am going out of town next week. But look forward to that in the future. That's something I really want to make. I've got like 12 different Pip-Boys to show off. This one is my personal favorite. But that will be in the future. So anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Go buy Fallout in the Steam sale right now. It's like 30 bucks. Seriously, it's like half off. It's incredible. Uh, and Steam sale going on for those that don't know. Yeah, I'm really loving this DLC.